Andy Flexen here for Seconds Out with MC Extraordinaire, I think it's fair to say, David Diamante. David, good to have you back once again. Great, great to be here. Thanks, Danny. Just want to ask you, it's a show at the O2, Ted Cheeseman, first big main event for him, a, a huge venue. Does it give you as much satisfaction in announcing somewhere like this as it does, say, a sold-out Wembley Stadium, for example? Oh, absolutely. I mean, the O2, I mean, we, we were just here for the Chisora White fight. I mean, it's really kind of known as the Madison Square Garden of Europe. So it's, a, it's an incredible venue. Uh, if you haven't been to the O2, you should come out and check it out. It's a great facility. There's a, lot, it's a big mall there with all kinds of restaurants and stuff. But it's not about that. It's more about just the atmosphere there. Um, the, typically, the crowd is just great. They're knowledgeable. Um, you know, it's UK fight fans. They come out and they support. So it's a, it's a great venue. Um, I like this card. It's a lot of uh, local town on this card. Um, you don't maybe have the huge names that you'll have typically, but there's a lot of great fights on it. I mean, the fact that Cheeseman, I mean, he just had that great fight against the city of Byfield at the Copper Box. And he, I mean, that was a fight that people were clamoring for, and he just passed with flying colors. And instead of taking an easy fight, he's choosing to step up, and he's finally stepping up out of British level, going to European level. Sergio Garcia is undefeated. So it's really, that's going to be a banger. And then the chief support is really a fight that I just can't wait to see. I know a lot of people are looking forward to that too, but the blade and the spider, I mean, these guys, there's no love lost there. Um, these guys really want to have at it. And it's, it's really exciting because that fight, you know, it's for a WBA continental title. But besides that, it's just the trajectories of the fighters. You know, it's like one guy's going to go on probably to some, some really great stuff. And the other one's going to be back to the drawing board. So it's really exciting. Um, and I like the, the, the top fight, both undefeated fighters. It's a Nixon nil fight. So it's great. I mean, Felix Cash, Lawrence Acoli. The thing about the Acoli fight, he knows he needs to look good. You know, he didn't really look so great in his win against Askin at Wembley. So really, he's going to have to kind of really show something uh, in this fight. Felix Cash, he's looking for his second title in the paid ranks. Um, and then you have all these other guys on the card, like Doherty, Zaxo. You've got um, Fabio Wardley. Yeah, man, Wardley's a banger, you know. I mean, this guy, Wardley, he's, he's you know, obviously undefeated. Uh, he's managed by Dillian White, and he's sparred with all the top-level guys. So he, and he's fit, man. You know, he's uh, he's focused. So it's great to see these guys uh, fighting. Of course, we got Scott Fitzgerald too, and that's another storyline here, right? So Fitzy's on the card. He can't slip up. Well, he definitely can't slip up because he's got the big meeting with Fowler, and Anthony Fowler will be ringside. And that's another thing is the Bermondsey banger, you know, Cheeseman. You know, these three guys, Fitz, they were all G on Team GB, right? So they're all former teammates, and they all kind of want to have at it. So first it's going to be Fitzy Fowler. If, he, if Fitzy can get, back, get past his man, uh, you know, this weekend, he'll go on to fight Fowler. And then I would love, I mean, I'm clamoring to see uh, Fowler Cheeseman, if we can get that. that. That would be a great fight. Maybe boxing's first ever triple threat match, if it comes to it, you never know. Yeah, you never know. Let me ask you as well, looking further ahead, two fights that you'd like to see the most in 2019, one match room, one non-match room. Oh man, there are so many great fights to come. Uh, fights that I want to see, I mean, I want to see AJ against all the top guys, right? So, um, you know, we want to see whether it's going to be White, whether it's going to be Miller, it'll be Fury, it'll be Wilder, you know, whoever he's going to fight, I just want to see AJ fight. Um, looking to see Buwazi still back in action. I want to see Josh Kelly uh, back back in action. Um, and then non a non matchroom fight. I mean, I'm, there's so many. It's, it's hard to just pick one because there, there are so many great fighters in these di different divisions, and there are a lot of great matchups to have. Um, we just had Keith Thurman fight, right? So the welterweight division is really hot right now, and you've got. Uh, Errol Spence, obviously, and you got Terrence Crawford. I mean, I'd love to see those guys fight. I do want to see Garcia fight Lomachenko. I'd like to see Gervonta Davis and Lomachenko. I'd like to see um, Callum Smith. And I mean, there, there's so many great fights out there. I can't wait for Danny Jacobs uh, Canelo. That's a great fight. There's just there, there are a ton. I mean, that my brain just kind of overloaded with thinking about how many great fights. If I if I could just be a, a dream matchmaker, there, there are a ton of great fights. Last one for you. We saw a lot of guys come to prominence in 2018, including Ted Cheeseman, who's headlining now at the O2. So he's kind of passed that next level now. Who is there? Who is your one to watch for 2019? Who's going to make big strides this year? 
Well, I think, like I just said, the pretty boy Josh Kelly and also Joshua Boazzi, I think both of those guys are, are really uh, great right now. Also, Fowler, I mean, I, I want to see I want to see him him step up. I want to see him at Fitzgerald and see see what he has. I mean, he's undefeated. Cheeseman, I mean, obviously, this guy has got a storied amateur career. He's done really great stuff, and, and he's, he's looking good so far in the paid ranks. So we'll see, you know, what's to come from these guys. There's some really, really top talent out there right now. Brilliant. David Diamante, thank you for your time. Yeah, appreciate it, guys. Thanks.